Welcome back. Up, oh, the world's closing. Not good. Not good at all. Really not good. Still, I don't think they're going to be that dangerous. We have outwitted <laughs> the US Army. Though, to be fair, we do have a PhD in theoretical physics. They're just there to shoot us. So, I'd imagine that it isn't that big of a deal. But, who knows? Ah. The, uh, the walls... Open. Thank goodness for that. Right. I guess the only way at the moment is up. That was nice, just stepping straight onto the ladder. Yay, crowbar. What did that do? No, oh, it opened that. Hmm. This could be an interesting thing. Ouch. Oh, hold on. We might... Oh, that was fortunate. We might be riding out the, uh, the drop. That's awesome. Anyway, I was talking to a friend of mine who said that he watches all of his let's plays before he goes to sleep. But it would be weird if it was me he was watching before he goes to sleep because so, uh, he wouldn't like to go to the sound of my voice. So, as we fight our way through this alien infested mesa, uh, let's try and put that right, shall we? Ooh. And just a random leg there. Imagine your body becoming weightless. All of your thoughts simply melting away. The weight of the past day coming off your shoulders. And you becoming a very calm and very relaxed consciousness. Settling down for the night. Nothing to worry about until the moment the sun rises and the new day dawns. Oh crap! Bloody head crabs again! Not good! Oh, oh, the dude, the dude's been eaten. The dude was eaten. Really not good. This dude's on fire. Even worse. Ugh. Better put that out. We should probably have a look around for some, um... <laughs> for some health. And we're still burning. Oh, fantastic. We've got a gun. That's a good start. Yeah, that probably wasn't that relaxing. Sorry about that. Actually, no, I'm not sorry. I'm I'm never sorry. That was that was fun. But any oh, last it. Not being sick on me today. That's truly disgusting. Got ya. Right. Let's heal up. We got no time for messing around today. We're getting through. We've got about a third of Black Mesa left, so we could be done by maybe, I don't know, episode 17 or 18, depending on how many times we die. <laughs> but that'll probably be quite a few, knowing my luck. Anyway. Not again! Not again! Oh! I forgot about this one! Took a big chump chunk out of my face. That was not nice. Not nice at all. Right. So this thing was on fire a second ago and now it's not. That's fortunate. I guess we're going through here. So, yeah, the screen's gone a bit fuzzy. That's the radiation again. Our Soviet scientists and reporters would know about that. Circa... 1986. Why do I say circuit? Chernobyl happened on the 26th of April 1986 at 1.23 in the morning when one of the RBMK4 reactors went 
and exploded all over the place. This was caused by a uh, an experiment to try and see if the uh, the coolant system could survive being I don't know could survive for a few seconds while it uh, did something I don't know. Do I look like a nuclear scientist to you? No, that's because I'm not. But the experiment was. Um, I can't remember now. <clears throat> they wanted to see if there was a, a power failure, whether the momentum of the turbines could keep the coolant... Oh, flaming hell. Keep the coolant system running long enough for the uh, diesel generators to kick back in. I believe there was a 40 second latency or something between the power being cut and the generators coming back online. And they just wanted to see if the core could be kept cool enough uh, in that time and to do it they disabled all of the safety systems and uh, it got really out of hand they thought perhaps that <coughs> any spikes that were caused in the reactor could be stopped by inserting the coolant not the coolant, the control rods the control rods were inserted but because of their design they caused a brief spike in power causing a massive steam explosion and the release of highly radioactive vapour all across uh, Western Europe and as far as America I believe actually the uh, there's still I believe cattle in North Wales and areas near me that are still inedible because of the high amounts of radiation that remain in them which shows this is a problem that not necessarily can be fixed with bitten Kleenex as we usually might want to that was too close Oh. Well, I have to say I've been on nice and merry merry-go-rounds, but um, that's still nicer than some places in Blackpool, let me tell you, ladies and gents. <clears throat> you sometimes walk through Blackpool and you feel like you've caught something just by being, I don't know, near Pleasureland or something. I hate to imagine the amount of Arukas you get from going to uh, sandcastles. Much rather go to Alton Towers, I guess. Oh, conveyor belts. I wonder how many hypodermic needles are in that. I dread to think. Guess we're doing the treadmill wrong. Whoa! What's this? That is a hopper that drops me into an open sewer. Oh, I've got the... Imagine that, Gordon gets his face in an open sewer. This is... This is awful. Right, what's that? Okay, that's a great big pulverizer, uh, crushy blade sort of thing. Don't want to get in there. Not by any... Reason and that's locked. Why is everything always locked? It's an open sewer. No one's going to want to steal anything from here. Oh, I guess we're going down. Oh, oh! I tell you, they've caught the the disgusting nature quite accurately, I'd say. Right, I take it we're going around this bit now. Yep. Oh great, they're flaming it. It's water, what are you going to do? Right, under the, the huge blade. Ugh. So not only is this disgusting, it's also highly scary, dangerous, terrifying, what have you. And now we're going to start drowning. Drowning in feces, wonderful. Ugh. Still, I suppose the Magnum made it better. Oh, nasty way to go, though. Drowning in, uh, in, in crap. What did I just switch off then? I don't know. But either way, I'm healing up. 100%. Fantastic. 
What's down here? Satchel charge could be a clue, but I don't know. Ah! Oh! We've got one more shot left. Got ya. We made it count when we needed to. Now we just have to wipe all these smears of fecal matter off my HEV suit and we can continue like nothing ever happened. The only problem is we all know it did happen and it's going to haunt us for the rest of our lives. Ooh. What a grisly day. You know, maybe last time I resorted to toilet humour, you might not have liked it, but at least the game wasn't forcing us into it, shall we say. Hmm. Full health. Uh, okay, so we turn this on. Oh, we can't turn it on. Okay, um... Primary flotation. <coughs> what does these... Is there any control here? I don't think so. Does this control anything? No, this this is the start. Yeah. This is where we came in. I think I remember in the first half like this level had bits of body and legs and stuff just falling down and raining onto me all the time. It wasn't pretty, but <laughs> it certainly caught the mood of very desperate times and disgusting. Oh! Oh, cool. There we go. Yeah, I wouldn't take a go to a gym if the treadmills were anything like that. Okay, so that's a massive grinding wheel. Good thing we switched that off, I think. Wouldn't want to get caught in that. Do we have to go in it? I don't think so. Can we get in it, though? No. Looks like we're going through the grinding wheel. Hooray! Back up this stupid staircase. I suppose if the game's coders were feeling kind, they wouldn't throw any horrible creatures at us for a little while because we aren't that well equipped just yet. Not until we get some kind of super mega awesome energy weapon. But I guess we want to fix our legs first, considering we just broken our shins. Right, what beckons? through this new way? I don't know. I'm truly intrigued to find out though. I dread it'll be something disgusting and vile and putrid. Because it usually is. We're probably gonna have to run some form of gauntlet though. Eh, uh, must have been a bad curry. Right, where to now? Down here? What is the point of this room? No one could possibly get there, ever. Oh. That lever fixed everything. No, it didn't. It just made things slightly more dangerous. Whoa. Oh. There's something about that that just gives you a chill down your spine. You know it's a game. But there is a great big crush coming down on your head. Oh, God, there's, there's corkscrew wheels. Not nice. Control room. What's in here? I don't know. What do we do? I think if we hold that lever down, it'll move that somewhere. Though I don't know the purpose, what does that do?
Ah! Brilliant. Okay, so that gives us an idea of what we need. Um, oh! There go my knees again. No. No, you don't. You do not allow that here. That is not white. It is not British. We don't chew people's faces off for no reason. We painful, uh, painstakingly make sure everything's okay. We're like, awfully sorry, good sir. We, uh, we'd like to ensure that we don't offend you. So would you? Would it be fair if you step aside and allow me to pass? And the head crab should respond with, "Why, absolutely, that would be that would be most fair." I shall step aside and allow you to traverse. Bull squids could uh, could do with learning from Britain again. Though saying that, when it comes to being polite, you can't really beat the Japanese because they just bow to each other until. Uh, they get arthritis in the hips. It is really impressive, though, how deferential the Japanese are. And also, how far they bow depends on your status in a uh, in the community or wherever. Like, if you're a doctor, they'll bow down really low. In fact, they'll bow down until they probably break the spine or something. And then they'll be glad that you're a doctor because you can fix them. But if you're a doctor of poetry like someone I once knew, like the worst doctorate you could get, you'd be a bit useless in that situation. Right. So, we got we got barfed on by the, uh, the bull squid again. Because that's normal. That's the problem, it really is normal. I guess this is the only way through another inferno. Yeah. Take it, we're not going on the grinding wheel again. No, nope. going down here, it seems. Into a another grinding wheel. Material recovery. <laughs> that sounds disgusting. Wait, we were just here. Dang it, never mind. We won't make the same mistake twice. Through the fire very quickly. Through the fire and flames we carry on. Can't believe I just tried to do Dragon Force song. Right. <clears throat> Guess we're going down again. I don't trust that. Goodbye. <laughs> Let's see what's it up here. Another one. Okay, that's about right. Depleted. Ammunition depleted. Right, so I'm told. Ouch. That could have been bad, but no, we survived. Though I don't think we were meant to do that. No, okay. We'll try again. I really want to be out of residue processing as soon as possible. I don't like this level. It's disgusting. It truly is disgusting. It's vulgar. It's smelly. It's vile. There's a bull squid waiting to chew my face off. Not my face. My leg. They like biting legs off. Now I'm lost. <clears throat> Where do I go? Came through there. Um, there's got to be a ladder somewhere or something. Some indication of path to choose. I'm really confused right now. Wait, is that a... Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Guess we're going up this way. We know who's round here. 
the sick gives us the hint. Hello! How do you do? Not so well. I didn't think so. Nobody does well after doing that to me. Still, at least we're glow in the dark now. We must be vomiting radium or something. Interesting stories of, uh, I think it was in Ohio or somewhere, where the main employment for young women, I think in the 1930s and 40s or something, or maybe even earlier that, maybe 20s, 30s, that kind of era, was working in a, uh, a clock factory where they had to uh, apply luminescent radium paint to clocks and that effect, that would uh, then <coughs> allow it to glow in the dark but the side effect of that was to um, straighten the tips of the brushes they would put it in the mouth and lick it with ra uh, residual radium on it as well so that would mean their mouths would be full of this radioactive element leading to quite horrible tumours developing in later life and the poor ladies, <coughs> the graves, if you were to put a gaggy counter of them, would tick. They get no peace even in death. It's a really sad story. Almost as sad as being pulverised like that. Still a guess. There's two ways to go about this and that was the wrong way. Okay, let's see. Don't go through there. <coughs> Don't go through there. Don't go through there. Don't fall off. Falling off would be a disaster at this moment. Put across here. Right, is this safe? I hope so. Don't want to be meat grinded again. Well, I suppose that's a better alternative than being turned into mint. And then probably ended up as some kind of lasagna. Whoa. Atomic goop. Activate. Oh, good grief. Good grief. Indeed. How are we doing now? <coughs> Loading. We're not doing so badly. I don't think so. Hopefully, <laughs> one of our viewers will be asleep by now. Allowing for any additional explosions, of course. The explosions are always what send me to sleep of an evening. But yeah, we're not doing so badly. A few deaths so far today. But um, yeah, I'm making it quite nice. I just hope we don't die now. We probably just jinxed ourselves, haven't we? Oh, good grief, good grief indeed. It's been such a long, it's been such a long journey through Black Mesa already. And we've still got a fair way to go. I love this though. It's totally worth it, and a uh, truly spectacular game. Anyway, I fear it may have crashed, and it's getting kind of late now so uh, I'll thank you so much again for watching this oh no we haven't no we'll go on for a few more minutes huh. oh okay now it's time to leave it thank you for watching see you next time goodbye <laughs>